Hi and welcome. This is Crystal Jordan, your host for Reality Check, and I hope you guys are enjoying the new studio that we have right here in Atlanta, Georgia, an all new Reality Check studio just for you. And today's conversation is not going to disappoint. We have the third and final couple from Owen's hit series, Put a Ring on It, Shay and Alfonso. Now, Shay and Alfonso are cute. We love them. However, there were some times along their journey that got a little rocky. Check out this clip, and we're going to come right back with Shay and Alfonso. Alfonso disregards my feelings. Instead of him calming his date down, asking her to just fall back, he decides to sit there and laugh. Listen, honey, and don't you get it? Are you that insecure, sweetheart? That's what I'm saying. Baby, you, you tripping, though. Yes, sir, I'll sit down, sweetheart. Stop playing with me. Yeah, you sit down. All right, welcome back. We are here with, I'm going to say, this was my favorite couple this season on Put a Ring on It. And the reason that they were my favorite couple is because of the ending. And I feel like the audience learned so much from this example. Welcome, Shay and Alfonso. Thank you for having us. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. You look beautiful. I'm liking this Miami vibe that you got going on. Oh, you match it. We are, yeah. We kind of look <laughs> And you know, Alfonso keeps it fly all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys, I mean, it, again, we talked to the other, we talked to Shorty, we also talked to Charlie and Otis, but I think viewers really loved you guys' story because I think so many people could relate to blended families, yeah. you know, people not, you know, situations, boundaries not being clear, all these things that we deal with in relationships. And I think that what you all did in kind of sharing your story probably helped a lot of people. Have you heard that so far? Um, I know I have. I know for Fonzo, yeah, more men yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. are speaking about it. It's more of a man problem. Yeah. Seems like because I had a lot of men. People, I mean, I didn't know. Start yeah. me like, man, hey, man, you helped me and my wife out a lot, which I, we had the same situation. Yes. You know, and it was different seeing that because I always thought it was just me. So I yeah. didn't know every, I mean, not everybody, but a lot of people had the same issue. Because mm -hmm. we don't feel like it's supposed to be that hard, but it is hard. Yeah. It's not easy. It ain't simple. Yeah, well, we, I think. Yeah. One of the things that I thought, and you can correct me, Alfonso, if I'm wrong, but it felt like you came to the show, you obviously loved your girl, but it felt like you really weren't sure how to handle the blended family situation with your yes. child's mother, your mother, and your firecracker. <laughs> right. It felt like you kind of just didn't, didn't, as Dr. Nicole said, didn't have the tools. Actually, no, didn't know. I did not know how to do it. Again, thinking it was just going to be simple, but it's not simple. And then when I found out it wasn't going to be simple, I didn't know how to. Fix yeah. it. I didn't know what to do. So I mean, she helped a lot. Yeah. She yeah. gave me some boundaries and rules to kind of use and tools to use in that to help fix that situation. And it, it helped a lot. It did. Yeah. It was definitely. Well, we're gonna get into that situation yeah. a little bit later because Dr. Nicole gave you some specific things. Yes. But I want to go back to before you all came on the show, Shay. I'm gonna start with you because you were the one that seemed to be really <laughs> clear about okay, we need some help. I love him, but this is not working for me. So what was happening in your relationship prior to you guys starting this put it on the put a ring on a journey? Ooh, can I tell it? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, initially when Fonzo and I got together, um, everything was fun. I mean, mm -hmm. it was cool, it was a whirlwind. I lived in Jacksonville, he lived in Miami. Okay. So you know when you're seeing each other, you're only wanting to spend time with the person that you like at mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. It's like family, all of that's cool, but we only got two days. Right. Let's get Maximize it in. our time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so as time went on, I'm like, okay, well, where's your mom? Where's your kids? Where's your family? You're mm -hmm. coming to my family functions. Let's go to yours. And at that point, I didn't know the relationship dynamic of his child's mother and mm -hmm. his mom. Okay. So he was like, oh, my mom's not ready yet. Like, it was always an excuse as to why I couldn't go. And mm -hmm. I started to think, okay, something is either wrong with this man. <laughs> <laughs> He's lying. Something's right, wrong. Right, right. So um, he finally came out and he told me what was going on. Mm -hmm. So when he told me about his mom not wanting to have a relationship with me because of his past relationship, that was foreign to me. Okay. That was extremely yeah. foreign. I'm like, my family is not like that. <laughs> they don't care who you are, where you come from. They're very accepting of everybody, just as they were receptive to him coming into my life. Mm -hmm. So me coming into the situation with him, I'm like, 
oh my god what did i get myself into mm -hmm. so as time went on again you know it just kept getting worse and worse and worse i couldn't go to birthday parties christmas oh, wow. everything and i'm like something else is going on here <laughs> right. now you lying right right so once we settled everything of course we got to the show mm -hmm. and i'm like no let me air this out because you're gonna make a decision today <laughs> figure out what you're gonna do yeah and we got to put a ring on it. You got to put a ring on it. Now, let me ask you this. Before the show, because for you to just make the decision to go on the show, how was it? Was it hurtful to you? How like how did you feel about everything? Oh, absolutely. You're going to be devastated in a sense. It's like, yeah. I love this man. Mm -hmm. How can your family not be accepting of someone that loves you based on a past relationship? Yeah. Obviously, y'all didn't work out. And because you didn't work out, it has nothing to do with you moving forward and leaving that person behind. That was mm -hmm. never my mindset was that, oh, this woman is going to go away and it's just me and Fonzo. Right. That's irrational. Right. Like, he right. has a child. Right. At the end of the day, it was in my mind, my parents were blended. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, you know, he's moving on. It's going to be me, him, child, mom. So I'm like, this is going to be one big, happy Brady Bunch family. And we're just going to live happily ever after. But again, my family dynamic was completely different, different. from yeah. his. Yeah. So that did not happen. Can I chime in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to add to that, <laughs> what's so crazy about it, her mother would do the same thing with her father. With us, really? um, not her father, her stepfather. Did she know that? No, she did. Oh, did you know I that? Didn't know that? She didn't know. I didn't know that. Right. Oh, okay. So them trying to, it was I a problem see. too. Okay. Same concept, same thing. Go she ahead. just wasn't a part of that, so right. she didn't know. She that's, didn't know. That's I, it's I crazy, like that because but so many yeah. people go through it. Yeah, it's but crazy. and the children shouldn't. The fact that you didn't know it is right. a good thing that right. your mom did a good job, <laughs> get a good job because she right. was able to keep you from being in that drama. Right, and that's kind of one of the. I guess hardships that we had. Mm -hmm. He has a nine-year-old. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, when I found everything out with the mom and how they felt, I'm like, okay, first of all, I'm not gonna ever ruin his perception right. of family. I'm not going to say anything that's going to be damaging because at the end of the day, if we are really moving forward to getting married, mm -hmm. that's my first priority is to protect the child. Yeah. We can deal with adult things outside of him knowing what's happening. Mm -hmm. Hence, I let it go on longer than it probably should have. Gotcha. So, Fonzo, she was obviously, by the time you all got to put a ring on it, she was fed up. <laughs> what were you thinking? Like, how did, did you, did you think that there was resolution to it? Or were you just kind of avoiding it? Where were you at? And what made you decide, okay, I agree to go on the show? Um, I didn't know what to think. Because I'm getting from both ends. Yeah. You know, and it's like, again, you can't control how adults feel. Like, I've had conversations with my mother, hey. This who it is, but but she like no, she wasn't receptive to it. She like yeah. no, just give me time, whatever. So I'm telling I'm telling Shay what she's saying, but no, Shay's not believing it because again, she grew up differently. Yeah, they have, her family is very coming. Oh, you always come on in, <laughs> son of law, everything you know, hunky dory. But it just she you know she just it was just crazy to her that somebody would feel like that. But yeah, that's how she felt. So uh, when she brought up the concept about the thing about uh, put a ring on it, I was like. Okay, why not? I, I, any help I can get right now, I take it. <laughs> so, and then you know us as black men, we know we feel we so strong. We we look at therapy as being crazy. Yeah. You yeah. know, but it's the difference between therapy and seeing a psychiatrist. It's totally, you know, it's different. Mm -hmm. But we don't know. We don't look at it like that. Even when yeah. I told my mother I was doing it, she's like, ain't nothing wrong with you, you know? <laughs> but us as black men, that's how we feel. We don't have to go to the doctor. We don't have to do all that stuff. We feel like we can get through it. So, but it really helped. And we need to do that. Yeah. We need to break that cycle of thinking like that. No, I, I love that because mm -hmm. that's one of the things that we saw that I think really probably helped a lot of men, which is why you mentioned that they all have right. come up to you because Bonzo comes off as this man's man, you know, yeah. just, you know, cool with everybody. Seems like very protective, obviously protective mm -hmm. of your mom and, and your child's mother and Shay, mm -hmm. but not really vocal about mm -hmm. how to fix everything. So I think a lot of men could relate to that. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about once you guys came in the process and Shay is sharing 100%. <laughs> she is sharing everything. How did it feel being there with the other couples, sharing what was happening? And hearing Dr. Nicole's feedback, you guys are doing group, you know, sessions together. Before we even get to the days, let's just talk about how, how did that feel for you all? Um, initially, for me, I was like, finally, yeah. <laughs> finally, I can get this out, how I've been feeling. People that don't know us, mm -hmm. they don't know anything about our situation. They don't have a reason to side with me or him. Okay. Mm -hmm. But he made me feel bad 
for being honest, mm-hmm. the very first session that I walked out of, they didn't show, we had an argument. He was sitting there like, why would you say that? Why would you this? And I'm like, that was the point of coming on the show. <laughs> what you mean? Why did I say this? Mm-hmm. Um, so for me, I was happy though, to be able to finally say how I really feel yeah. and not just get pushed to the side. Is that how you feel like he was kind of responding oh, to absolutely. it? absolutely, absolutely. What about yeah. you, Fonzo? What did you feel like? Um, uh, to know that other people had the same issues, mm-hmm. like hear their issues, I'm like, oh, we had an issue too. Like, you know, just know we were not the only people with these crazy issues sometimes. Yeah. Like, you know, it's normal. It's not nothing crazy. Yeah. You know, a lot of people go through certain, a lot of the same things. So that was good. And I'm like, okay, it ain't just us. No, mm-hmm. They got the same issue. We didn't, Hopefully they got help. I know we got help. I don't know if they got help with the issue. But, <laughs> that's you know, some of the other couples have some that. different issues. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah, different. It was different. It was good to know. What did you? Why did you respond that way to her being 100 percent open? Yeah, at you first? know, we just we protected. We don't want to put our business, our dirty laundry, and all that stuff out. So <laughs> nah, I was upset. I, I didn't like it. You didn't like I'm it. glad she did though. At the end of the day, I'm glad she did. And it pushed me to have to talk about it, so let's get it out there. Yeah. If that was me, you would have never talked about it. <laughs> I think men sometimes like to have yeah. this picture perfect life. Mm-hmm. And it's like whatever happens behind closed right. doors, it's nobody else's business. But in reality, mm-hmm. it's not picture perfect because I'm over here yeah. looking at this flawed picture and I'm like, hey, you don't see this crap. Mm-hmm. And it's hurting you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It had to be hurting you also though, right? <laughs> no, it was. I just at some point, I figured some way I figured out just mm-hmm. on our own, not with everybody, not with millions of people. You know? <laughs> not with Three the rest years of us. later, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Three years later, you're figuring yeah. out it really worked. <laughs> now, we, we one of the things that you guys talked about on the show, which was kind of funny to me, is the fact that Fonto is in a, a entertainment industry, so he's in a position where it's a lot of women around. <laughs> And Shay was clear that, that she didn't, she wasn't comfortable <laughs> with some of the boundaries that she didn't feel were set. How did you respond to that? Because that's one of the first things that we heard besides the issues with the, your mother and your baby's mother was that, you know, being out with you being around celebrities and doing what you do, it mm-hmm. could be a little bit uncomfortable if there's not, you know, clarity in the relationship. Yeah, it's, uh, it's real uncomfortable. I mean, she just, <laughs> she just, uh, she never liked it. I mean, she deals with it because, you know, it is what it is, the job, but, you know, mm-hmm. it's what I got to do. Mm-hmm. She never liked it. It's just, mm. so I try to bring it along as much as I can. I didn't like it. Nah, you didn't. I didn't like how you were moving. Uh, Let's clarify what I didn't, she didn't like. like it. No, I didn't <laughs> like the movements behind I'm, this I'm, this is real. I'm too real. friendly for her. I'm too friendly Absolutely. for her. Like Absolutely. You heard him say on the show he couldn't have female friends, but he was so friendly with everybody. So, yeah. so Fonzo, what, what was going on with you in that, in that situation? Do you understand what she meant? No, I get it, but it's just me. I, I've always liked that. You know, it's like, I don't know you, but if you come, we're going to have a good time. Hey, how you doing? You, you want something to drink? You want this or that? I'll make sure you're good because that's just make sure everybody okay. But <laughs> Mr. Friendly, yeah. how does that how, how does that cause? How does that threaten or could that potentially threaten your relationship, dude? Because you know, if you're in the entertainment industry and making sure everybody's good, I'm sure some girls take that a little extra. They will. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they will. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it was different when it came to her because she was the first really serious relationship I had since I've been in this. Okay. To this point, where's that now? Mm-hmm. So I never knew it to bother anybody, but I seen how it was bothering her. So I was trying to fix it in some kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, I was trying to fix it. So let's it was a hard fix. So what what exactly do you do? Because I know the what exactly do you do? Tell us what you do. <laughs> well, right now, uh, so the main job I do is with Rick Ross. I help manage him, like part of his travel manager and bookings okay. and stuff like that. And uh, some of the other artists that's on Energy. So I help them mold their future, try to help them get to where they try to get. Okay. And uh, most other stuff I do is properties. I, well, we're doing a show now, so we're gonna see where this go. Mm-hmm. Maybe some other shows in the future. And uh, oh, we got some promo coming up with Bel Air. So there's a lot of things coming. Okay, so it's part, of, part of MMG and Rick Rick. Oh, yeah, Rick under, the, oh, under the umbrella. Yeah, we so, so, bef- so we're gonna talk more about the dates and everything when we come back. But from, the t- what was the takeaway for you, Fonzo, with how do you deal with women that are excited about being around one of the traveling managers for... <laughs> you have to set boundaries. See, that's what I learned. Set boundaries. Like, hey, listen, you got to chill. Now. You, you know, you got to stand over here. Can't be in certain areas because you don't want stuff to come back and look, especially right now. Right. Because a lot of eyes... It was eyes before. It's a lot of eyes now. So this, mm-hmm. so we won't get no misconception. <laughs> hey, so you got to kind of be over here. I'm going to stand over here. Y'all enjoy yourself over there. Mm-hmm. And we got, you just got to move differently. 
Because now it's marriage is serious. Like that's marriage a, is serious. Yeah, it's serious. And so you guys are engaged. Let's take the you yeah. like the ring. Let's show, yeah, show us the ring. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Absolutely Thank you. beautiful. Let me. You know what? We got you guys a wedding gift. A little. A little. A little. Um, a little pre-bridal shower gift here from Rolling Out. This is just something to remind you all that you're a king and queen at your table. You want to open it? He's listening. Yeah. He wants somebody to give me a gift. He opens. He wants mine. to open. Okay. <laughs> so let's keep the tradition going. Go ahead. Just reach on down. This is just something small. Now we we're not we don't work for Rick Ross, so. Oh, yeah, I love the wear. Oh, absolutely. So it's gold. So they were just you know king and queen like. There you Beautiful. go. And just something card. small from us. You know, I love cards. I'm mad we didn't bring that. I'm mad now. I don't like that. <laughs> no, that's you guys are our guests. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, our card. I like cards. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> I love her. I'm sorry, y'all. I read no, it later. Yeah, read it later. That's later. good. That's I, good. We just wanted to cards. we wanted to give you guys something something, just a Thank little you. small we token of our appreciation. Thank you so much. Shay, how do you feel now though? Hearing <laughs> about as far as him and his job, because obviously that's a very it attracts a lot of females that are looking for opportunities. Um, the funny thing is, so from a blog perspective mm -hmm. and viewers, everyone feels like I'm the opportunist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so funny because they're like, oh, she's with him because he's Ross' manager. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, I knew him before then, first of all. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I make my own money. So let's be clear about that. Okay, sis. But as far as the women, um, it's like what he said, creating boundaries. Mm -hmm. I am not the police of Bonzo. <laughs> so when he's out and about, you know, I just expect you to treat situations just as I would. Mm -hmm. If I'm out, you don't want a guy buying me drinks. Yeah, because like, you're a beautiful woman. I'm sure you probably get attention. He'll have attitude. attention. He's like, why did you take, you have money. Why are you getting this? <laughs> it's the same thing with these women. Why are you buying drinks? So it's just boundaries. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've learned a lot through this process. Of course, people have seen the jealous, the insecure <laughs> parts, the, you know, she's over the top. But I just love really hard. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that can be taken out of context. Yeah. Sometimes I can go a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. I'm learning how to peel that back some. Okay. But in reality, it's just that I'm territorial yeah. over any situation in my life. Mm -hmm. But I love very hard. And but you learn some tools to kind of help you through I'll that. Absolutely, I learn some things to Cortell, you know, kind of <laughs> hold it all together. A little bit. <laughs> hold it all together. Well, we are going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk a little bit more, especially with Shay, about how she learned how to control some of that, <laughs> and how the couple <laughs> learned to set boundaries that would be, you know, lead to a more healthy relationship for the two of them. Stay right there. Trust me, you don't want to leave. We're going to get into all that, and of course, where they are right now when we come back. Okay, we are back, and we are talking, of course, with Shay and Alfonso from Owns hit reality series, Put a Ring on It. And Shay, we, I think, <laughs> I think the audience, the viewership, probably the biggest issue with you all season, the two of you all, was the, the antics that we saw on the dates. Now, my, my question to you, <laughs> did you know, you knew that Alfonso had to go on dates, right? Uh, to a certain extent, yeah. Okay, because I, I was I was wondering, I was watching, I was concerned, like, did she get bamboozled? Because <laughs> she doesn't seem ready for him to go on a date. <laughs> okay, so I was bamboozled on the double date, okay. I would say. Okay. But the other days, I mean, it was just a little fun, a little razzle-dazzle, you know? <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Just That's a, it, just a little razzle-dazzle. Okay, all right. Yeah, nothing to be taken too seriously. Okay. Now the double date, that was another situation. The that plate was gate. Totally, yes. Plate Let's gate. get into plate. Day. We called it plate, plate gate because yeah. in that that one we saw things kind of I'm gonna say, for me as a viewer, it did seem like it was a little more than fun at the first date. You seemed like you really were you came into the car, <laughs> you did not want to, <laughs> you were <laughs> it was pretty serious. But plate gate, it, it got even even more serious. Right. And we saw Fonzo was just trying to stay alive. So t tell us from your in your perspective, what caused you to be that angry at the hibachi restaurant? Okay, so first and foremost, we were there for four hours. Okay. Four hours. I'm sitting in the car with a guy I don't know. Mm -hmm. Fonzo's standing directly in front of me. Mm -hmm. He's texting me, you ready to go? We need to go. Like, this is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We're just sitting there. So it's like, 
I'm getting aggravated and agitated as time is going on. Okay. So many things from a production standpoint were happening, which I don't blame production for my outbursts. Mm -hmm. But in reality, all of those things kind of led up to it. So now I'm thinking, oh my God, you know, my man, he's just sitting here looking. I'm in this car with this guy. I don't even know what he's talking about right now. Mm -hmm. And we're literally just sitting. So by the time we get into the hibachi restaurant, like I said, we've been there for four hours. Okay. This was not just a situation where Fonzo walked through the door in two seconds and I just went like we off. saw, right, right. That right. is not what transpired. Okay. So at the moment when he came in, it's like if you look from the video, her head was tilted this way. So I'm agitated. Like, why are you even talking to me at this point? Furthermore, if you notice on everyone else's double date, there were people all throughout the restaurant, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why were we the only people in this one setting? No one else was there. So when they said that we would be in the same place, mm -hmm. I'm assuming it was going to be just like the other With days other people there where there are right. other people. So right. now, okay, I'm not focused on you sitting right next to me. Yeah. I can hear your conversation. That, that's crazy. So that bothers you that, that you were able Absolutely. to see that much? Okay. Absolutely. I'm aggravated, agitated. I'm looking at you. You steady doing like, so what, what do you want to talk to me about? So now my frustrations are like, hey, it is what it is. Mm hmm so when, when, when you watched it back, when you watched the entire season back, are there mm -hmm. anything, what were your personal feelings about your behavior? Um, of course, you can always handle things differently. Mm -hmm. um, in that moment, in this particular situation mm -hmm. that we were doing, it was new to both of us. Yeah. I've never done anything from a TV perspective. I've mm -hmm. never wanted to be in front of a camera like that. Mm -hmm. So it made me see, you know, my reactions to certain situations. I can only fault myself. Mm -hmm. I can't control the things that he is going to do. I can't control anyone else. Mm -hmm. I can literally only make a decision that's best for me. And if it's something that I don't like, I can always exit. There you go. And that's really the only takeaway that I got from it. That's a huge takeaway, though. That's a huge. And, and, and I also, my takeaway from what you just said is that you took accountability. And oh, I think yes. that's what we saw in your conversations with Dr. Nicole, because you came back and it's like, okay, I realize I can't, I can't control him. I have to yeah. allow him to see what his behavior is going to be. Absolutely. Alfonso? I just said something. Yeah, come on in. Come on um, in. <laughs> I think people think how we thought coming into the process, mm -hmm. you don't know how you react to see your mate with someone. It's not as easy as it may sure. seem. Yeah. Oh, everybody keeps saying, oh, it's part of the process. Yeah, okay, well, you sign up and see how you feel. That's got to be with somebody that you up. love, right? I don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> if you're with somebody that you genuinely yeah, love, to I see them that. interact with somebody else, it's going to mess with I'm mm -hmm. sorry. No, I agree It's with going you. to bother. Not, you know, I'm not saying she was right or wrong, but mm -hmm. it's going to bother you. Did it bother you seeing her? Of course. I didn't want to see her get to that point. Because I knew she... I told... Okay, so we talking. I told her, I said, listen, it's not going to... I told her before we went on today, it's not going to... It's gonna be wrong. Yeah. It was gonna go left. She was crying before she even left. Yeah. She didn't want to do it point blank, period. Yeah. Because I know her. You know, I'm like, I told her, I said, it's not, nah, she's gonna be okay. She said, she's okay. I said, okay. I, I know her. Yeah. You know, but it, it's not as easy as everybody think it is. Oh, like, I, I don't not. think, I think people make that comment because they're watching and it's entertainment, right. but they're not thinking how they would feel. That your husband be over there with another girl Absolutely and they talking not. and frolicking. <laughs> you know? He don't speak to you when you come right. in. So he it's, just, you were upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. To me, I feel like out of respect, no matter what you're doing, mm -hmm. if you know our relationship outside of a show, there is no human being on this planet that could tell me not to speak to Fonzo. Shay got those good Southern values. <laughs> Yeah, it's just not I keep telling, and it's not that nobody told me. They kept preaching to me that I had to sit at a certain spot, and yeah. so when I came in, I was like trying to make sure mm -hmm. what spot they want me to sit at, and yeah. I didn't speak because I'm trying to make there was sure. Two spots in there, mine and yours. <laughs> so I thought you told me because we finna sit at the table together, but then they like no oh. on the up, so I didn't know it was nobody yeah. in there. Yeah, so, I feel like he just his chairs you know, everywhere. He looked like oh, I'm the trying to yeah. like, get. <laughs> and then, and then, too, and then too, like she said, I'm shocked because there's nobody in there. I'm yeah. like oh lord, so how are we doing? I this? didn't know that there was no one else there in the was, restaurant, but that that you look at the cup, there's not another head in there, nobody in there. That is crazy. So yeah. they knew, and they knew that you had buttons that, that, that could be right. pushed. They put that me with be. the person, though, at the end of the day, that she was going to agitate the situation, too, mm -hmm. because I never mentioned how she looks. So saying I'm threatened that she's pretty. What are you talking about? Like, you're yeah. agitating me now. And it was so much more that was said. So yeah. now, at that point... We, 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 we often... We you often already tried because you with my man. <laughs> but that's the show.
show. The show is yeah, a setup. It's a set. It's a setup. <laughs> but did, I, I don't think we've heard men say. Well, we we heard we heard Otis say he did not like Charlie getting flowers from a guy that pissed <laughs> right, him right, off. Yeah, that. So what did? How did you feel seeing her? Because the guy was attractive. How did you feel seeing her on um, a date? To be honest with you, it didn't bother me mm-hmm. because I know her. I know how we feel about each other. Okay. So I wasn't threatened. I mean, you know, I'm sorry. You know. <laughs> <He's not bothered. laughs> but now I trusted a, you know, I trust around a hundred men. So I'm not. It that. didn't bother me. I know it's part of the process. I know we gonna get. We're mm-hmm. here to get through this. Get help with our relationship. We're not here to meet nobody. So yeah. I wasn't worried about it. Okay. Now, I didn't like her. As far as them traveling together, I didn't like that. Okay. Sitting in the car together, because again, you know, it's crazy right now. Yeah. So they ain't have no security or nothing. So what if this guy? That's more because you're protected. Right. right. So what if he do something to while they ride or how they were sitting in the car? We like she we was in the car three four hours. Nice. No, she better me. I was ready to go. <laughs> All these let her come with me. Mm-hmm. You know they didn't even want to do. It. I'm like that don't make sense. She don't know that guy. Yeah. No, nothing against him. I didn't just don't know. You just him. don't know him. Man. Yeah. Sure. And she's a female at the end of the day. You mm-hmm. know. So yeah, I didn't like that. Well, I think, like I said, we love the fact that you took accountability and you did talk about how you understand that you can't move like that. Um, I want to go back to Fonzo with you. Something that Dr. Nicole said this season with you, I think, was probably the biggest thing I've gotten from from put a ring on it. Period. Mm-hmm. And she said that men have the power to heal. They have the power to heal families. They have the power to bring things together. And I thought when she said that, it it seemed that conversation with the two of you all, it seemed to really empower you right. for her to let you know that you can fix this. Mm-hmm. How did that? How was that for you? No, it helped me a lot because I, you know, you. You know you the man, you know you the head of the family, but to know that you can bridge that gap, you don't. We don't know we had that kind of power. Yeah. Because again, like, because it, of being with my mother and I, you know, I still that's my mama. Yeah. So you don't ever want to overstep your boundaries because I'm respectful. You know, we Southern people, but we still have to put our foot down and be men. Hey, listen, yeah. Ma, I love you, but <laughs> this is what it's gonna be. Yeah. If you want to be a part of what we got going on. Mm-hmm. And I needed that, and, and it really helped a lot. Yeah. You know, to build structure between both families and bring them together. So let's talk about the phone call because again, Fonzo, <laughs> you look not only like a deer in headlights, but so uncomfortable. But I think the audience really credited you for making a, a difficult phone call to your child's mother and mm-hmm. sharing that with everybody. I know that helped, but how uncomfortable were you as uncomfortable as you looked on camera? Oh, very uncomfortable. <laughs> I, at first, I mean, be I didn't honest. S- what? Tell, be honest. Tell the truth. No, I'm this because, is reality checks. Right. We, need no, the real, truth. we need the real Fonzo. <laughs> no, because to me, I feel like the phone call should have been to my mother. Because she mm. was the point of everything. We not the baby mama. It was just they, their narrative was them being friends. It was causing the issue. But I think the mother could have squashed everything. Because yeah. I'm not telling my mother to not be friends with her. Mm-hmm. I was just saying, open your heart to her. Yeah. You know, they just don't. No, that makes that. Right. That is a good point. <laughs> yeah. But I, but I think one of the things that I wondered watching the show, I said he he definitely has a lot of respect for his mom. But if you get on bad terms with your child's mother, that could affect your relationship with your child. That's true. So I felt like you were trying to make sure that relationship stays in a good place. That too. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That too. I don't want no issues. I love yeah. my baby. So you know, we do a lot of stuff together. So I ain't want her to start with other. We never had issues before, so we don't need nothing now. Yeah. Just because if you feel like you want to try to wait it out, thinking we're going to be together later, whatever you got. That's no. what it felt like. Right. That's what it and felt we like. we got to get past that. Let me ask you this. And mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm going to ask Shay first, and then I'll come back to you. Shay, do you feel, because that it felt like the boundaries weren't set. The door wasn't shut and locked. It was like cracked a little bit open. So there might have been thoughts that, okay, this could end up, she could just be somebody that's here for a while and, and there could be reconnection later. Do you mm. feel like when you listen to that conversation that there were unspoken, uh, like a relation, like she still wanted to be in a relationship with him? So in all honesty, um, she and I had a conversation. Okay. A couple of them way before, before that, this right phone call mm-hmm. <laughs> transpired. Okay. So I was a little taken back myself listening to the things that she said because I'm like, well, wait a minute. We, we sat had already, down. Yeah, we had talk. already, yeah. What are you talking about, loose ends? Because you told me in front of him that everything was good. Oh, okay. So, of course, you know, here I am blindsided with the rest of the world. <laughs> like, <laughs> what I'm asking ends? too, well, what are these loose what are these ends? ends? Right. What oh. is she talking and about? I got, so, oh, and another reason, <laughs> wasn't nervous, I was uncomfortable because... Okay, we all knew about the phone call. Yeah. yeah. So for some reason, that day, early that day, she had a problem with the phone call. So I'm like, well, what do you mean? We just go, hey, 
I'm just gonna like pretty much apologize about certain things. We just in general oh, conversation oh. and we be good. No, that, that was a problem. So I told the people like, look, she don't want to do it no more. Yeah. You know, so they like, no, she gonna. I said no. So now, she, now she want to do it. I'm like, oh, if you want to do it now, I know you finna come with it's something. So some... what is your motive now? Like, cause we like she said, they don't talk. We don't talk. What we yeah. talking? About? What was we had these? What what is the uh, clothes? What is? The... Well, see, that's the thing. I told we had to come to Jesus. Mm -hmm. I couldn't take it no more. I'm like, I'm not yeah. doing this. We gonna sit so why down. Why the loose ends ain't come up the then? Yeah. <laughs> we right? couldn't so, fix whatever loose ends you got. Again, that is kind of a way that you know there's no loose ends if you guys have all done oh, that. Absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just think though, like you said, going back to your original question, from the boundaries and closure, mm -hmm. he never was real direct yeah. to say, hey, listen, I have moved on. Yeah. I don't care what happened in the past. Uh -huh. We are never getting back together, but I still <laughs> right. love my child. Right. And, and I'm I still going to do right by you. What Dr. Nicole said is there's still, I still, I value you. Right. right. And that's just what I not, and we're just not in that place. That One of the was things powerful. I use, right. That was yeah. she talking to you. That was, uh -huh. that was a great line. That and I thought powerful. that was very point. Straight to the point. Wasn't yeah. bashing you. Was just letting you know what's going on. Yeah. And again, we've had this conversation. Yes. Hey, we're not gonna be together. I'm like, this is what I'm with. We getting married. Like, hey, yeah. we're getting married. Yeah. So for you to feel like it's still loose ends, what loose ends could it be? I no I'm with Shay. I don't know. Once we I sat down, know. I don't know what else we could talk about. I but, stay out of it. But no, and I, and I and I and that that's even to your credit to even allow him to still do that. Now, as perfect as ever, so everything was moving amazing. We're as if you were watching, we're cheering on Shay and Fonzo. We get to the reunion, and then we hear that you all took a break. Yes. Let's talk about the break. <laughs> and how we got back to where we are with this beautiful ring. So what happened after sh after taping? And so after taping, um, Fonzo and I, we really sat down because I'm like, I don't want to do this again. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go through the engagement and we end up back at square one. Yeah. I need answers for everything. The loose ends. Mm -hmm. I want answers. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? So we literally talked about everything. A lot of viewers believe that he was back and forth with his child's mother. Mm -hmm. That was yes. not the issue. Yes. Okay. It was other women. It okay. was the career. So I'm like, hey, when he started really divulging everything, he went deep. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it hurt me because I'm yeah. like here I am thinking that you know these are our issues but you really it's out here more. doing everything else <laughs> it's some more issues that and I didn't know I was like I can't do it so yeah. that day I packed all my stuff and I moved yeah. I moved I didn't talk to him I didn't want nothing to do with him I was like have a good life we'll never speak again so what did you feel like at that point oh man oh um, <laughs> Be honest, I felt good and I felt bad. I felt good to get everything out. You know, make sure we had a clean slate. So when we yeah. start this thing, there's no bumps can be in the way. We was real, we gone. Once mm -hmm. you take the last name, next yeah. time you we gonna be in the grave together. That's it. Yeah. So let's just clean everything out. And um, I hate that she felt the way she did. It was mm -hmm. hurting because I never want to hurt her. Yeah. But I felt good, like, hey, there's nothing else in the way. Mm -hmm. We got everything out of the way. Mm -hmm. And I know I wasn't gonna let it go that easy. I'm all that talking. I'm, <laughs> I'm at the door. Hey, he we gonna talk. My mom, so I moved back. Cold like, turn the thing. Kenneth. He wasn't gonna he turn did. the Kenneth. Nah, I was, yeah, I was, I was Kenneth for a minute. I was Colbert had all black on ski mask. Got the mom involved. I'm gonna set it up. It's covert mission. <laughs> no, but that. Well, first of all, I like you guys. This is why we. I think people were so excited about you because that takes. It takes a lot of courage for a man to come 100 percent clean, mm -hmm. and then. I am with you. I can understand being like, this hurts. Like, I can't do this. But how did you guys manage to, besides Fonzo slightly stalking, how did you manage to come back together and get to Therapy. this place? Therapy. That's the one thing that we took from, put a ring yeah. on it and really applied. He actually got therapy on his own, outside nice. of me. And then we came I, together. I like it. I like the way it, it changed my mindset because, again, we think things are normal, but they're really not. Yeah. You know, so talk to someone who has nothing to do with nothing mm -hmm. and just... Getting everything out in a safe place and environment, and y'all going through things has helped yeah. a lot. So I can, I still do it today. I love yeah. that. Yeah, so I that, that would, that, I'm glad you gave him a chance to come back. <laughs> and now, now everything is in a good place. Do we have this extravagant? When is this extravagant wedding happening? Ooh, we are looking at October here in Atlanta. Okay. So definitely, definitely you have keep, to come. Yes, please. <laughs> we have to, we have to be involved. We definitely Absolutely. want to come and support. But I think, literally, and I can say this, I've talked to the other couples. You guys, I, I think the fact that you came ready to be open and honest and really genuinely wanting to help, it paid off. And we yeah. see how it paid yeah. off. And I think it definitely helped a lot of other people. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and I'm going to ask Shay and Fonzo what were their reality checks 
for the season and put a ring on it. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back with the Lovebirds, Shay and Alfonso, and I want to ask both of you guys this reality check. So, what were your what was your biggest reality check during this process? We'll start with Shay. Whew, my biggest reality check, I would definitely say, was myself. Um, learning more about myself, mm -hmm. learning <laughs> more about my relationship, but as it relates to me as an individual. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in other people mm -hmm. that we're dating that we really forget ourselves. You forget the things that you want, you forget the things that you need, mm -hmm. and you forget who you are sometimes. Yeah. And I'm not ashamed to say that I kind of lost myself. Mm -hmm. So you saw the outburst, you saw um, the you're not going to do this, you're not going to do that. Um, but at the end of the process, I can honestly say it made me evaluate me. And with me doing so, I think I'm a better partner and a better person. I love that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be hard for you to beat that, Fonzo. What was your, uh, <laughs> what was your know, reality check? I don't think I can beat that one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but um, I, would, I guess I would say um, I only have all the answers. Mm. And, um, like a, and I, I'm going to say it again, the biggest takeaway was therapy. It really changed. It really put it better. Yeah. You know, I really love, I'm gonna preach it. Hopefully I can go out and talk about it, that we need to really, that's something us as a black men we need to do. Yeah. Even if you don't think you need it, just try it. Just see. Cause I have friends now calling me like, man, you got me one of us. I give, hey, go here and try it, man. Look at Fonzo, hey, the man. mental health awareness. Cause you never know what you put here to do. I could be put to help people, yeah. to, uh, bring awareness to it. I you never know. Yeah. You know, cause I was one of the people who thought, oh, we go there, you crazy, man. <laughs> they got a straight jacket in the thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, man, it's good, man. You gotta make sure we do that, man. For real. So how, how are things with you and uh, the, the little one? You oh, guys, are, a, the family is blended together? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, we good. Absolutely. Yeah, Love we him. Good. Love his other children, too. Mm -hmm. um, everything. Yeah. Mom is good. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, besties now. I see, I see how that works. I mean, talk to her more than she talked to me. That's crazy. <laughs> That's how I'm supposed to be. She's very like. I'm not mad at it. I'm like, it took all this for that to happen. But hey, we here. So I'm happy. Yeah. We good. Make it work. Well, I love it. We wish you guys the best. We definitely are looking forward to uh, this. Ex we heard about uh, clowns and over the top. The <laughs> oh, wedding yeah. is going to be over the top. So we definitely want to make sure that we have an Come invite to celebrate. Absolutely. But I think you guys' example will definitely help a lot of other couples. I hope so. For sure. All right. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you so much for stopping Appreciate by. Appreciate you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for having us. Of course. We look forward to seeing more from you guys soon. All right. Well, I enjoyed this couple. They were my favorite. And the reason they were my favorite is because this is reality check. And it seems like both of them had great takeaways, had great uh, reality checks for themselves. Shay realizing that her walls were keeping her from love. And you can't, you know, you don't own a person. You can't keep them from dating other people. You have to allow them to make those choices on their own. And Alfonso, as a black man saying that I'm enjoying therapy, it's making me a better person, was huge. I really wish them the best. And hopefully in this new season coming with Put A Ring On, we'll see other couples follow in their footsteps. Well, this has been your host, Crystal Jordan. I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys today, and I will be right here next week for more Reality Check.